Selamat siang! In this video, we will introduce the idea of writing and using user-defined functions by doing so in MATLAB from scratch. Following videos will discuss more details, but it is helpful to see the structure first in its native environment. To start writing a function in MATLAB, click on the new drop-down arrow, then select a function. A template for a function is pre-filled into the text editor. Before we start writing anything, we must have a purpose for this function. We'll aim for a simple one, converting lengths. We will use this function to convert a given length from either feet to meters or meters to feet. Based on that purpose, let's choose the name feet meter. Of course, this name is arbitrary, but it must follow the same rules as MATLAB variable names. Start with the letter, no spaces, and so on. The function name is written into this field after the equal sign. From the purpose, we should also be able to identify the input and output arguments. We will need to pass in two pieces of information, the given length and which conversion option we want. So in this field with parentheses, let's type in the names of these input arguments as lold and opt. The only needed output argument is the new or converted length. Let's call this L new and type in that name in this field within the brackets. Now the top line of the function is complete. It really is a summary of the whole code to come, providing the function name as well as the input and output arguments. Next, we need some comments to provide more details. In this first comment, let's give a broad overview of the purpose. Next, let's provide more details, specifically the meaning of the opt variable. Let's say that if opt equals one, then the code will convert from feet to meters, but if opt equals two, then the code will convert from meters to feet. Now for the actual commands in the code, we will use an if else if branch. If opt equals one, then we convert from feet to meters by dividing the old length by 3.28. This isn't an exact conversion, but it is pretty close. Else, if opt equals two, then we convert from meters to feet by multiplying the old length by 3.28. This end statement is used to close the branching statement. This final end statement is used to indicate the close of the function itself. And that is all for this simple function. Let's save the code. Look at what appears automatically in this window, foot meter. The save name must be the same as the function name. So MATLAB fills this in by default. Don't change this. Now that the code is saved and the file appears in the current folder, we can use this function. Common mistake, you cannot simply click run. This works with a script, so why not with a function? Because a function requires input arguments, usually. Telling this function to run without providing input arguments would be like me telling you, convert for me the correct length. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, that is rather difficult to do if I don't tell you the original length and what units I'm expecting. So to run this function, let's call the function using the command window. I'll choose an output variable name of taco. Next comes the equal sign. Next comes the function name. And finally, in parentheses, I enter the input arguments. Let's try converting 100 meters into feet. That would be option two within my function. Before running, let's predict the result. 100 times 3.28 should produce 328. Now I press enter and see. Good, that worked. Let's test out the other option and try converting 10 feet to meters. I anticipate this will produce a number a little above three. I'll choose a different output variable name and choose to suppress it this time. After calling the function, nothing appears to change in the command window. Why? Because I suppressed the output. 
but we can see in the workspace that nacho equals 3.04, so the code appears to be working. That is all for this basic demonstration of writing and using a user-defined function. More details to come in the following videos, but I hope you're starting to get a glimpse into the convenience and power of writing these functions. Rather than putting all your code into a single large script, possibly with a lot of repeated code, you can break the bigger project into subtasks, with each subtask accomplished by a different function.